Hello, hello. So this is a video for people that are in the same boat that I've been. You've got your 5D Mark III and you've updated it to 136 version firmware and you cannot run the Magic Lantern. Now, officially you cannot roll back. Unofficially, yes, you can. And this is how you do it. You get yourself two memory cards. One memory card will have the 136, the exact same of what you are running inside your camera. The second card is going to have the 123 or the 113, whatever it is you're rolling back to. Put in the one with the 136. Start your lovely camera up. Go into your menu. Uh, for me, it now says 123. As you can see, for you, this will say 136. Go ahead. And now, look at this little light right here. So, firmware update program. At the very beginning, this light will glow red, which means the camera is accessing your memory card. It is looking at the firmware inside your memory card and it is looking at its hash key. It's checking and verifying is this a software or firmware that I am allowed to load up. It checks that, the little light goes off and here is your window of about you know five seven whatever seconds when you open this hatch take the card out and you put in the card with your 123 or 113 firmware pop it back in now this step has raised a couple of questions when people thought that it might be interfering with the camera and that it might be dangerous uh, now obviously do everything at your own risk but what is going on at that point once this goes off what the camera is doing it is loading up the firmware update program it's literally just starting a piece of software from its internal operating system uh, it has nothing to do with actually upgrading the firmware at that point so it verified that it's okay to go ahead, gets a green light, goes ahead, and you just switch the source card when it's starting its little operating system. Then it will give you the option of, you know, whatever it is that you're going back to. Um, if it's 123 in your case, you select the 123, click set, and you're going through the motions. Uh, at the end of this video, I have included the original video when you can see me popping the card back in and you can see the camera being at the 136 version now just so you can see it's all running up nice and smooth I'll take out the card with all the firmware and I'll put in this card which is a card that I have loaded the magic lantern on now once I start the camera, click the delete button, and here you go. Here is all your wonderful, amazing magic lantern options for you to play with. So, go right ahead, have fun.